Welcome back to Full Circle Florida. 60 days, 1,500 bills, and only one question matters. Did Florida lawmakers do anything to help you? Here's our Capitol reporter for Saunders. It happened as fast as a hanky drop. The 2024 session ending Friday, but noticeably absent, major property insurance reform. I'm wondering if you think there needs to be more work on citizens' property insurance or property insurance in general. The governor defended the omission, saying the state-backed insurer of last resort, Citizens, was improving, as was the private market, after cutting back lawsuits. It doesn't happen overnight, but the movement has been to where Citizens is depopulating. You also have, I think, about a billion, uh, 1.25 to 1.5 billion in capital uh, that either has been or will be injected uh, into into this market. I think there's seven companies now that have entered. When it comes to cost of living, lawmakers passing a $117 billion budget with $1.5 billion in tax relief. That included more breaks on tolls, plus homeowners insurance and a refill of the My Safe Florida Home Program for home hardening. Bills that stole headlines included a ban on sleeping in public spaces, a stand your ground bill for bears, and restrictions on cruising in the left lane, which the governor might not sign. We haven't talked yet, so I certainly want to get a chance to get in front of him and talk about what it does, what it doesn't do. Uh, and I think some of his concern may have been how do you enforce it? Well, that's true with any traffic laws. Florida Senate rejected a bunch of what critics called culture war bills that included lowering the buy age of rifles, biological sex on IDs, and protection of historic monuments, including Confederate. Some saying it was a break from the governor. I think the legislature said, listen, we did, we did what you asked for the first four years, and you know, now it's our time. Chamber leaders got their big goals. The Senate president expanding access to medical care, just not expanding Medicaid. The House Speaker getting the addictive social media ban for minors under 16, though he did cave on parental permission for those 14 and 15, if a guardian agreed. While I do still think it has structural problems and it may be struck down in the courts, I think we have to do everything that we can in order to combat the plague that is um, the social media companies. While session overall seemed more moderate than years past, Democrats thought more needed to happen, including on that big topic. We could have focused on property insurance. We know that's top of people's minds. Florida's in an affordability crisis. So it truly was a session of missed opportunities. And for me, it's really ending with a whimper. And the next question, what will DeSantis do with those bills that passed? Florida finds out if he'll sign in the coming weeks. Still to come, Emily's story and some guys with long hair who are turning into heroes for children across America.